Everything just felt, okay, yeah, I look like a grandma right now. really quickly to introduce this vlog because I didn't really have an intro. But hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel, All About Ash. Before we jump to this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button, subscribe to my channel. But here we are with another relaxed hair vlog. So in this vlog, I'm going to be taking out my braids, trying out some new products, washing my hair, deep conditioning my hair. We're actually going to do a trim, more like a cut because I did cut off a pretty good amount. I'm gonna show you guys what my hair looked before and what my hair looked like after the cut. So we're going to do all that in this vlog. We're going to get my hair in this type of style I was really honestly just experimenting with some flexi rods. I don't know what this is, but if you guys want to see the whole process I went to from taking out my braid to straightening my hair to giving myself a cut to styling my hair, I don't even know what this is, then make sure you keep on watching. This is how we're starting the vlog. <laughs> yeah, um, of course I look crazy. I feel like I'm gonna look crazy most of the time at the beginning of these relaxed hair vlogs because in these vlogs, we're getting my hair together. But my hair currently looks like this. I have on this wig cap that I've had on for maybe two weeks. There's a hole in it, so my hair is showing. Yeah, it's really rough right now. But when I got back from Turks, I kind of took some of my braids out. Um, there's still actually some of them on the side. But I took some of them out so I could braid down the rest of my hair and kind of slap a wig on. I also had a little bit of leave out. I did my thin part for like a day. And Ever since then, I have been wearing just my like really small closure, straight black hair. I think it's black, brown hair. So yeah, my hair has pretty much been like this for about, when did I get back from Turks? Two, three weeks? Has it been three weeks? Has it almost been four? And if you haven't watched the Turks vlog, make sure you guys check that out. Hopefully I'm popping up the thumbnail right here. It was so much fun. I feel like I just had the time of my life. I really did like that trip. So if you guys wanna see how the trip was and everything that I did, how I wore my hair, all the outfits I wore, the food I ate, things we did, all of that, then make sure you guys check out that vlog because it definitely was a fun one but yeah i'm trying to see how long I, I thought i had my hair like this for maybe two weeks but i definitely i've had it for like one two three i've had my hair like this for a month it does not seem like it has been that long but yeah i have had my hair like this for a month um it's definitely time to just take my hair down really take care of what's under this wig cap treat to it i really do want to wash my hair deep condition it all of that and i do want to give myself a trim so hopefully in this vlog i will be straightening my hair and giving myself a trim because i just have not been able to care for my actual hair the way that i have been wanting to so ideally right now i would like to be doing an actual relaxer touch-up but i'm about to go on vacation again and i'm going to get my hair braided again so I don't want to relax my hair right now and then get it braided I'm just not really comfortable with that and I just feel like you're not gonna get the best results with your braids if you have like a fresh relaxer so I would really like to relax my hair right now but I feel like since I'm about to get my hair braided again it wouldn't really make any sense but my relaxer is past due like it is more than past due I'm gonna look at when I posted my lax relaxer touch-up video that was July 9th. So we're pretty much going on four months. I'm probably gonna be at like five months post relaxer touch up when I actually do get to relax my hair. And you guys know I like to relax my hair like around the three month mark. So this one is pretty extended. I really don't like to go more than three months without relaxing my hair or giving it a touch up because I feel like my hair grows at a decent rate. And sometimes it's a struggle to deal with the two different textures of my natural hair growing out and then where it meets my relaxed hair is going from like curly to straight and I don't like that. But like you could also get like a lot of problems with it if you're not caring for where those two different textures meet so personally i just like to relax around the three month mark but i feel like it can be different for everyone how your hair grows how you take care of your hair how you manage it all of that but i feel like i'm just yapping i can tell i've been talking for about four minutes now so let's just get into 
I don't even want to show you guys what's under this wig cap. Let me pull my mirror down so I can actually see what's going on too. Yeah, so I don't even want to show everyone what's underneath here. Honestly, I need a comb. Do I have a brush or something? We're just going to be honest, okay? This is just like a chill, relaxed hair vlog. I'm keeping it real. This is literally what I look like. Um, I have a hole in my freaking wig cap. But yeah, I have not cared for my hair for a while, which I'm not happy about. But that's why we're doing this to get back on track. So you guys can tell that hair style I had from Turks. I'll pop in a picture right here. I look so crazy right now. But I still have some of those braids in. I have washed my hair plenty of times since I've been in Turks. All that seawater and everything. So my hair is like detoxed from all of that. But um, like I said, I did have leave out with my thin part for a little bit. So I have this strip right here. And honestly, it's feeling pretty, pretty dry. I need to comb this out. I really just need to decondition and everything. My hair doesn't look too crazy. It does look like I have quite a bit of split ends right here though. I honestly do look at my hair every now and then and look at my ends and usually I don't get split ends like that. I'm not sure what's going on right now. Maybe because of all of that water and how my hair was out and honestly wasn't in the best shape underneath this wig cap. So we are definitely going to need to do a little bit of a trim. So I'm looking forward to that. First things first, we got to take out these braids and all of that. I think I'm just going to start um, braiding and I guess talk. But yeah, so as I mentioned earlier, I am going on vacation soon. Fingers crossed everything goes as planned. But I just feel like I struggle sometimes with what hairstyle I want to get for vacation. So last time I got the braids kind of in the front, weave in the back. I did like it. I had like a really small amount of leave out. It wasn't too hard to manage. Sometimes my leave out got really fluffy. And of course the bundles that I had in, they weren't really fluffy. So sometimes you could see like where my leave out was blowing and how it was just poofier than the rest of my bundles. But overall, I did really like that hairstyle. I really need to try a braid out one day because I feel like it could be pretty cute. And this this hair smells pretty good too because I did wash it maybe a week and a half ago, two weeks ago. This hair feels a lot better than this that was out right here. But yeah, so for this vacation, I want braids, but I kind of want a really simple style because I really don't plan on keeping them in that long. Maybe like two and a half, three weeks. So one, I don't want something that's going to take a long time because I'm not going to keep it in. And two, I don't want something that's going to be really expensive because I don't plan on keeping it in that long. These are some of the styles that I'm thinking about. Out. I'll just pop them in on the screen. If you guys have a favorite style or if you have any style suggestions, something that I'm not popping up on the screen, definitely comment that down below. I think I'm going to settle on this style. I just been seeing it a lot lately. It's not really expensive and all the braiders, it looks like it doesn't take them that long to do. So I think it's cute, not that expensive and it doesn't take that long. So I feel like I'm just going to settle on that style. The only thing is I'm here in Austin. So if you guys can't tell, I'm home. But here in Austin, there's like a handful of good braiders. They're honestly like booked and busy. I've been trying to book an appointment today. No openings. Um, I'm waiting to hear back from one of the braiders. Hopefully she can squeeze me in but that's my main challenge right now is finding someone who can actually do it. If I was in Houston it wouldn't be that much of a challenge. So yeah just comment down below if you guys think that that style is cute or if you have any suggestions. Again I don't want something that's going to take too long or be really expensive because I don't plan on keeping these braids in. I definitely do want to do a relaxer type touch up once I take those braids out. So maybe mid December. If you guys want me to do another relaxer touch up video, I can do that. I might just be like a relaxed hair vlog, pretty much like this one. I guess I'm gonna make this a series. I guess I'll do that. Yeah, so this is gonna be a series on my channel now. I really am looking forward to washing my hair, deep conditioning my hair, moisturizing my hair, cutting my ends. I do need a good trim because also not only do I like to relax my hair around the three month mark, but I also like to trim my ends around the three month mark so that has definitely been pushing it. I feel like I should have done that a while so really just taking this weekend to just like care for my hair, take these braids out, wash my hair, deep condition, strain it. I guess we'll do a lean check when my hair is straightened and then have my mom just give me like a trim. I probably will need more of a trim than I usually do because it's been a while and when I was looking at that strip of hair there was quite a bit of split ends which I usually don't have like that so if that doesn't tell me that I need to take care of my hair and like be serious I don't know what does. So I feel like that's really what this relaxed hair vlog is going to be like. I have been talking for a while now. I don't even know if this is all going to make it in the video and I look crazy. Gosh. But yeah, so the plan, the agenda for this vlog, take these braids out, wash my hair with some new products. Once I finish taking out my braids, we can go over some of the new products I got, deep condition my hair, air dry. Tomorrow I plan on straightening my hair and styling it. So we're going to straighten it, let my mom dust my ends or really just give me a trend or cut my hair depending on how 
how bad it is. And then I actually want to style my hair. I kind of want to do a side part curls and I even want to put some flexi rods in there. So that's what's on the agenda. I'm just going to go ahead and finish taking out these braids and then I'll catch up with you guys when it's time to wash my hair and go over some of the new products that I got. So I just finished taking out all the braids all throughout my head. This is what my hair is looking like. Of course in the middle, it's not really braided because that was some leave out. But yeah, this is what my hair is looking like. I am so excited to wash my hair. But like I said earlier, I got some new products that I'm going to be trying out today for wash day and all of that. They are from Africa's Best. So I have this big box right here. They actually sent me over a couple of their products to try. I've actually never tried Africa's Best products before. Maybe like once or twice, like a while ago. But um, besides that, not really. So if you guys if you guys have tried their products comment down below if you have some products that you like your experience with it all of that make sure you guys leave me a comment because i'm pretty new to this brand so i'm kind of excited to try some new products but i'm just going to walk through you guys with this big box kind of tell you guys some of the products that i got and then also tell you the ones that i'm going to be using today for wash day okay so the first one we have is their olive oil deep conditioner so this says it's a treatment for weak damaged hair okay that sounds nice i have to look at some of the ingredients one thing i need to do a better job that is like really looking at the ingredients and kind of searching all of them to know if whether I can use these conditioners as like protein deep conditioner or as a moisture based deep conditioner but um yeah so we have a deep conditioner we also have a hair mayonnaise so you guys know that I use the ORS hair mayonnaise they also have one too again it's a treatment for weak damaged hair this one says with natural herbs olive oil and egg protein so I know that this one is definitely protein based I'm pretty sure you can assume that whenever you get like these hair mayonnaise today I think I really do just want to get my hair a lot of moisture i'm gonna go ahead and use this one again i'm going to have to like look up the ingredients a little bit more but i think i'm gonna use this today as a deep conditioner we also have an olive oil shampoo stimulates thinning hair revitalizes dry itchy scalp so we have that they also have a moisturizing shampoo with conditioner okay so this one's interesting this is like a two-in-one and i honestly don't know how i feel about two-in-ones i feel like you need to be good at one thing and that's what i need to use you for so this one is a moisturizing shampoo with conditioner deep penetrating moisture protein and rich cleanses and conditions so we also have a braid sheen spray with conditioner so this I'm actually really really excited to try um, if you guys have watched a couple of my videos before I've mentioned that when my hair is in braids I don't really know what to do it to it I mean I may oil my scalp every now and then but I really want like a product that I can use on my braids that's going to penetrate my hair and keep it moisturized because I don't just want to completely neglect my hair when it's in braids which is usually what I do which is probably why we're at this stage that I am with my hair right now. So I'm really excited to use this. Again, this is the braid sheen spray with conditioner. So this is just going to allow me to really moisturize and condition my hair while it's in braids. I'm probably going to use this because after I straighten my hair, I think I'm going to leave my hair straight for a week. Then I'm going to braid it up, put it underneath the wig. I have a wig review to do. And then after that, I think I'm actually getting braids for Mexico. So I'm going to use this with my wig braids as well as with my actual style braids. So yeah, I'm really excited to try this it also has shea butter in it we also have an olive oil we have an olive and aloe anti-breakage growth lotion okay that's cool they also sent an olive oil leave-in conditioner i'm actually kind of want to try this i don't know just especially because my hair has been underneath these braids for a while so i just really want to give my hair a lot of moisture they also sent over super grow hair and scalp conditioner so i like this too i feel like this would be a good product to use when my hair is in braids so i can really focus on my scalp because like i said i kind of neglect my hair and my scalp when it's in braids one thing about me when it comes to like products in my hair i like for it to be simple and straightforward i don't want to have to mix anything i don't want to have to do all of that so i like having products for specific things that's why i think that this braid sheen spray is really going to work for me as well as this super grow hair and scalp conditioner they also sent me um triple repair oil moisturizing miracle cream this is also a hair and scalp conditioner i'm interested to see like the consistency of this it smells good so far i don't even have it 
opened all the way. Okay, so it's like a, honestly, it kind of reminded me of a relaxer the way I opened it. Oh, that smells good. It almost has like a berry type of smell. Okay, it's kind of has like a watery, a very liquidy consistency. I can get how this is like an oil moisturizer. Okay, we have three more products. So they also sent over the rinse out and leave in deep conditioner. This one's deep penetrating, dual conditioning, anti-breakage formula. And then they also sent an instant oil moisturizer. It vitalizes dry, damaged hair, provides a beautiful, healthy sheen. I love oil moisturizers. You guys know that my Aura S one is like my go-to. I'm gonna try this one out and see how the two compare to each other. And then lastly, they sent over the Olive and Aloe Soft Shine Flex Hold. So I'm guessing that this is like a mousse. I mean, it's kind of in the bottle like a mousse. It looks like a mousse. So that's all the new products that I got from Africa's Best. So shout out to them for sending that over. Actually, I have two more products. I set these ones down because they're like oils. So they sent an ultimate herbal oil, a revitalizing multi-purpose oil for hair, bath, nails, and body. And then I also have olive and clove oil therapy treatment. Helps stop hair dryness, revitalizes itchy scalp and flaking, strengthens and repairs oils. So I forgot what relaxer update it was. I think it was earlier in this year, I was saying how I had a little bit of dry scalp. So I think I might test this out too. So yeah, that actually is all the products that I have. So today I'm gonna test out the olive oil deep conditioner and I'm going to use, okay, so we have the choice between, I think these are the two shampoos. We have a choice between the olive oil shampoo and the moisturizing shampoo or conditioner. Okay, so I actually think that I'm gonna go with the moisturizing shampoo with conditioner, the all-in-one product. <laughs> so I'm gonna I'm gonna use this as my shampoo and then we're going to deep condition with the olive oil deep conditioner so yeah i'm going to try out these two products i'm just going to go ahead and wash my hair then i'm going to come back when we do our deep conditioner under the soft bonnet dryer with the olive oil deep conditioner so yeah i'll be back once my hair is washed okay so i just finished washing my hair this is what it is currently looking like as far as the shampoo my first thoughts on the shampoo it has like a little bit of a thinner consistency at first i was like is this gonna lather but it actually lathered really well on the second shampoo you know shampoo rinse shampoo shampoo rinse so on the second one it lathered really well it had a lot of suds which i do like that makes me feel like i'm really washing my hair well as far as like the conditioning aspect because it was kind of like a two-in-one type of thing i'm not really sure if i really noticed it i did say that it helps with like detangling i feel like it was kind of easy to part my hair down the middle but then again i also didn't think that my hair was super tangled when i got in the shower because i did detangle it a little bit before i actually got in off camera but overall so far so good i mean it's just my first time using it so i'm going to have to try it out again but this is what my hair is currently looking like if you guys can see some of my new growth so it's very thick in here um i really would <laughs> like a relaxer touch up but one thing i've been dealing with these past couple months is this little spot right here i guess you can call it a bald spot i don't want to call it that like that sounds so bad but i guess that's kind of what it is sometimes it's noticeable sometimes it's not right now i feel like it looks worse on camera than what it does in my mirror but just like this little area like i can kind of move my hair around so we can really see it i'm just gonna be open with you guys and show you guys my little bald spot that looks crazy on camera so yeah i'm really trying to focus on that i really want to get like a list of like just good penetrating oils or just hair growth lotions or just anything that you guys have that you think would help with my little spot i'm just gonna call it spot we're just gonna cancel out bald we're just gonna say spot so yeah that little spot that i have if you guys have any tips definitely leave it down below any suggestions any things that have worked for you guys in the past or currently i know i love my middle parts but but honestly like I'm cutting them out that's why tomorrow when I show you my hair we're going to do a side part and one of the main reasons I'm showing my hair is so that I can trim my ends because I really need to do that but if it wasn't for that I would probably just braid it and slap a wig on so yeah we're definitely not doing a middle part tomorrow I'm just canceling out middle parts I love them so much especially like when you fresh straighten your hair you do a middle part and you put it like in a bun or in a ponytail like until it starts getting better I just have to kind of leave it alone as far as like parting and everything but anyway so we're gonna go ahead and deep condition my hair underneath my soft bonnet dry bonnet my soft bonnet dryer my hot shot tools this is the same one i always use i actually really do like this it has like cool low medium high so four different heat settings i'll have this link down below it's pretty much always linked in my description box whenever i use it so yeah make sure you check out my description box for the products that i'm using today and just generally products that i like to link down there so yeah we're just gonna go ahead and start slapping on this deep conditioner this one smells interesting okay so also the shampoo it had like kind of a stronger fragrance 
I don't know why I was kind of like picking up berries. It's cool, but I don't really like for fragrances to be that strong, whether it's in hair care, skincare, all of that. It wasn't bad. It was just a little strong, but it wasn't completely strong. It's like where it gave me a headache. This one, it's a little strong too. I don't know what it smells like though. It smells good. It kind of smells like minty or something. Is that mint or I don't know. But let's test out this deep conditioner, see how I like it. I'm really just gonna like slap it on, really get it all over, especially on my little spot. <laughs> Okay, so I feel like that's good enough. I'm gonna go ahead and wash my hands and I'll be back so we can sit underneath the soft bonnet dryer. Okay, so now I'm just gonna put on just a normal plastic shower cap all over my hair. And then I'm gonna attach the bonnet that actually comes with the dryer to the hose and then slap that on top of the shower cap. Okay, so I'm gonna sit underneath here for about 30 minutes and I'm gonna put it on medium, maybe sometimes bumping up to high, but this thing does get really hot, so usually I don't like for it to be on high all the time. So I'm just gonna go about 30 minutes on the medium setting. Okay, so it has been 30 minutes. I can finally take this bonnet off. Honestly, time went by really fast. But I'm just going to take off the bonnet and my shower cap and just let my hair cool down a little bit before I get in the shower and I rinse everything off. My hair feels really soft. Of course, that's a lot of product right there. But yeah, I'm gonna let my hair cool down a little bit, rinse it off, and I'll be back. Okay, so I just got out the shower. This is what my hair is looking like. I'm honestly just gonna let it air dry. So what I think about this deep conditioner, I feel like my hair was soft, like it made my hair feel soft. Right now, my hair just feels really dry. I don't think that is the deep conditioner's fault. I just think that's because I haven't been like moisturizing and sealing my hair because it's been under braids. Honestly, haven't even really been moisturizing it. So my hair just needs some work right now. But overall, this was nice. It made my hair feel good. It was nice and soft. And actually, it smelled really good when I was rinsing it out. But yeah, right now, I'm just gonna let my hair air dry. I'm honestly really tired and it's only 8.06. So I may come back tonight so you guys can see how my hair has been air drying. I might even have to blow dry it a little bit before I go to bed because I'm not gonna go to bed on wet hair. If I don't come back tonight, I will catch you guys in the morning when we will straighten and style my hair. But yeah, for right now, I'm just gonna let my hair air dry. Hello everyone, it is Saturday. I was gonna say Saturday morning, but it's really Saturday afternoon. I look crazy. I am really at the point. I should have relaxed my hair two months ago because the amount of new growth I have, as you guys can tell, my hair is like detangled, blown out, all of that. So this morning I detangled my hair. I blow dried it through a little bit on the cool setting just to like help to further detangle. I hate when I stretch my relaxers out for like this long because it gets harder to detangle my hair, especially where my natural hair meets my relaxed hair at that point and detangling it. I just feel like my hair gets so tangled i had to literally go like inch by inch working my way up my hair and it's a tangled now and as you guys can tell it's thick up here it's very thick like where is my scalp <laughs> it's just very thick of course it's detangled now but my hair is just really thick i just hate detangling between two different textures that's the thing i hated the most about transitioning from relaxed hair to natural hair in the first place dealing with two different textures i hate it so when i stretch my relaxers for too long like this it's honestly like i'm transitioning in a way and i just don't like dealing with the two different textures so yeah we're at this point my hair is detangled i blew it out a little bit just to help further detangle it but for the most part it's really just a comb and I just detangled on my hair. I really would have liked to use the leave-in conditioner that they sent me. I think that's what it was. Yeah, leave-in conditioner, but I'm going to straighten my hair today. So I don't want to have too many products on my hair. I already feel like, especially in the back, I can still feel that some of that deep conditioner didn't get washed out all the way. So I do have some product on my hair. But anyway, so we're gonna go ahead and straighten my hair. For heat protectant, we're going to use the Cantu Thermal Shield Heat Protectant. I really do like this stuff and it smells really good. I feel like it works well. So I'm just gonna stick to using this for right now. I'm going to put my 
my strainer on, let me actually turn it on. I'm gonna put it on 375, so it's like in the middle. Okay, so yeah, I'm putting it on 375, kind of right in the middle. This strainer goes all the way up to 450. Well, my strainer looks kind of <laughs> dusty, but I've had this for a while. Even the numbers on the side are starting to wear off. So for future reference, when my numbers aren't gone, I usually straighten my hair on the middle, which is 375. So yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and speed through the process of straightening my hair. My mom's going to dust my ends today and hopefully give me a cut. I really do think I need more than just adjusting. So I'm looking at maybe cutting an inch, maybe more if I have to. I don't think I'm gonna have to cut two inches, maybe an inch and a half. But one thing about me, I, I always tell you guys this, is that it's looking like it's thinning or like it's just see-through. I like to cut it off. Like I'm not gonna hold on to it. It's better to cut it off now and deal with it now than for it to continue to just getting worse. And then before you know it, you have to cut four inches off. So I'm just gonna like nip it in the butt now. I'm not sure if I'm going to trim my hair on camera. My mom doesn't really want to be on camera today. So even if we don't trim it on camera, I will show you guys what my hair looks like before when I finish straightening it and after when we get a trim. See, so yeah, I'm just gonna speed through this process and you guys can watch. So I just finished like running through my hair, straightening it. Ooh, I need a relaxer touch up so bad. I don't need more than a trim, I need a cut. So that's exactly what we're about to do. Honestly, like my hair is just blah right now. It's, I don't know, I just feel like it really needs some work. Here's what my ends are looking like. So you guys can see, I definitely need a cut. I would ideally like to honestly cut like right about here. Yeah, like right there. But I don't think I'm gonna cut that much today. I think we're gonna cut at least like this. So about an inch, inch and a half, something like that. Yeah, I really should have got a trim a long time ago, but since I didn't, we're just gonna we're just gonna cut it today. So I put on my link check shirt. I'm gonna try to comb my hair a little bit so you guys can see where it's at. This is where it's at from the side. My hair has definitely grown a lot, but I want more than just long hair. Like I actually genuinely want healthy hair. And if my hair is just long, but looking stringy and just lacking life, I would rather just cut it. Cut it now before I have to cut so much more later on. But yeah, I'm gonna show you guys what it's looking like right now. I'm probably gonna have my mom hold the camera so you guys can really see. But this is where I'm at. Hopefully I combed it out enough. Can you guys see that? I'm also gonna have my mom help me. But this is where we're at right now. So yeah, this is the before. We're just going to first go through my hair, dust my ends, like just go through layer by layer, cut off what we need to cut off. And then at the very end, I'm just gonna put my hair all the way to the back and I'm just gonna have her like cut off. I'm just gonna say like add a number. The shirt is also good for cutting my hair because it has straight lines across. So I'm just gonna tell her cut across right at that number. It's probably gonna be like an inch, inch and a half, maybe a little bit more. You guys know I really don't care about cutting my hair. Sometimes I even debate about just giving myself a bob. So I have to cut off two inches, which I'm not gonna do. Most Probably like inch and a half. I don't mind doing that because it's just going to benefit my hair overall. So I'll be back once we trim, dust my ends, and give myself a little bit of a cut. My mom just finished like cutting my hair. It looks a lot better now in my opinion. I will insert the clips of how it looked before versus how it looks after we did the trim. I definitely needed a trim. I definitely needed a cut actually. I had a lot of split ends this time. Like I'm not even gonna lie. And it's kind of weird because I usually don't really have split ends like that. Right now I would say that we're in recovery mode. I'm just trying to get my hair back to a state where it was kind of earlier in the beginning of the year. But yeah, overall I feel like my hair looks a lot better with that trim and that cut. Of course we didn't do as much as I probably should have done because me and my mom were not professionals. She just likes to help me out sometimes. So yeah, I definitely want to find someone here in Austin and Houston that I can go to. I don't know why. It's just this time around with my relaxed hair, I'm really nervous with other people being in my hair because if I mess it up, 
that's on me if someone else messes it up i'm going to be very upset <laughs> but i know that there are some good ladies in houston and austin that specialize in healthy hair care for black women so i just really need to i guess i just need to dive in and end up going to one of them hopefully sooner than later i know i've said that for a while but now i think especially seeing how my hair is i really need to go to someone who is really specialized in hair and knows exactly what i need because my hair is nowhere near perfect on my channel i do talk about my relaxed hair a lot but i'm still learning i'm still growing i'm still seeing what my hair likes what it needs all of that and i think it'll really benefit me if i'm able to talk to someone and they can put their hands in my hair and really see what my hair needs but overall i think my hair is like doing pretty good if you guys still go back to my first video when i first relaxed my hair my hair has come such a long way not only have i retained some length but my overall hair has like thickened up and just looked a whole lot better than from when i first started so i'm doing some things right but you could always be doing better right so yeah this is where my hair is at right now i actually do kind of want to style it a little bit of course we're not going to do a middle part usually when i do side parts i do it on my right side but today we're going to do it on my left side to switch things up kind of give my hair a little bit of a break so i want to kind of curl my hair with the straightener and then i want to put some flexi rods in so that my hair really sets in that kind of curl style and i can just have a nice side part curls throughout the week something that's just easy for me to manage all i have to do is put the flexi rods in at night so we're gonna go ahead and do that and i'll just let you guys watch the process Okay, so I just quickly finished putting some curls in my hair. How I feel about it right now? I don't know. Um, I'm just really experimenting at this point, but I'm gonna use some flexi rods and I'm actually gonna use some of the Africa's Best or the Originals by Africa's Best Olive and Aloe Soft Shine Flex Hold, which is pretty much like a mousse. We're gonna put a little bit of that on my hair and then actually wrap my hair around the flexi rods. I don't wanna do a lot. I just wanna do a couple and just see how it turns out. I'm really not a fan of this side part right now and I feel like my hair is just really poofy at the root but I'm obviously not gonna go back in and strain it a little bit more so I love to smell stuff this stuff smells really good oh I think I may have done a little bit too much yeah so I'm just gonna put a little bit of this on my hair and I'm actually gonna comb it out and wrap it around the flexi rod start at the bottom and just wrap it up I feel like I could have got that bottom a little bit better like that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that all around my head. I don't think I'm gonna use a lot of flexi rods because I don't want a super tight hold. I just kind of want them to stay in there to give me somewhat of body. So yeah, we're just gonna do that all around. Okay, so I finished putting flexi rods in. I put one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Not a whole lot. Right now it is currently 637. I don't think I wanna sleep with these in, so I'm probably just gonna chill. I honestly need to do some cleaning up. Do a little bit of that, and then I'll come back maybe in like two to three hours, and we can take them out, see how my hair looks, and we can wrap up this vlog. So I'll catch you guys in a couple of hours. Okay, y'all. It is hours later. Honestly, don't have the best feeling about these flexi rods right now. It is 9.51, I'm very tired. So let's just take these out and see how they look. Mm, I just hope it looks somewhat decent. Okay, okay, this one got tangled a little bit. That part was weird, I don't know about that one. That one looks pretty cute. This one right here. Thinking about these flexi rods, they're kind of old and like the top right here is somewhat lifted and some like little hairs get stuck right there. So I probably need to get some new ones cause that kind of hurts. So far so good. 
Everything just fell. Okay, yeah, I look like a grandma right now, but let me try to brush it out. I don't even know like what I was going for. I just wanted to kind of put some in and see what it would look like. Gonna start at the bottom, brush my hair out. Ooh, that's a lot of body. That's funny, cause that's like the name of um, some hair products, a lot of body, isn't that how you call it? Okay, yeah, this is not it. <laughs> this is not it. One second. Okay, so this is pretty much how my hair is gonna look. Honestly, I feel like a grandma right now for this hairstyle. Nothing's wrong with the side part and like curls. It's just that have like a lot of volume and the curls are tight and yeah, honestly, I didn't know how I wanted my hair to turn out with these flexi rods. I was just kind of testing it out. So I'm not really disappointed, but I'm gonna take a little bit of this Aura S olive oil nourishing sheen spray. I'm just giving my hair like some shine cause I feel like it looks very dull right now. I like to go in light with this stuff because it can make your hair oily quick. I don't know if you guys see that. I kind of spray it too much in that direct spot. But yeah, you have to be careful with this stuff. It definitely does give your hair some sheen. Don't spray it too close, but I really do like it. So I'm just combing through my hair, or brushing through my hair with that sheen spray. It honestly makes my hair feel a lot better too. Not only does it give it some shine, but it kind of, I guess, adds a little bit of moisture to it. Hair behind my ear like this, or just leave it out. What should I do? I don't know why this is just giving me like grandma. <laughs> I don't want my curls to be so tight. So I really keep on trying to like brush through them. I really do like how flexi rods give you volume. It's just, I'm not trying to get all that volume right now. Okay, oh well, I'm not really going anywhere. I was just testing out and playing with my hair pretty much. But this is what my hair is looking like. I'm not gonna lie. I feel like I kind of cut off a lot of hair. I guess straight we're kind of down here. But yeah, it's just feeling really short because it's curled right now. Okay, so yeah, I'm done with my hair. I don't really know what this relaxed hair vlog, what the main goal of it was. I really, really just wanted to wash my hair and get my hair trimmed. So I'm really happy that I did that. This whole styling portion is just like an extra. Um, I didn't really know where I was going with it. I just kind of wanted to, I guess, see what those flexi rods would look like if I curled my hair and then put them in. Can't really say this isn't the style I was going for because I didn't have one in mind, but I don't really feel like this style is me. But yeah, overall, I'm just really happy that I was able to let go of some of that dead weight. I probably still have some that I could cut and take off. But like I said before, me and my mom are not professionals. So I just prefer not to do too much. I think we did enough. What we've been doing so far has been working for me. So I just really need to get back on my routine. I have been slacking these last couple of months and I feel like it really has shown in my hair. When I'm really on top of my hair like that, it just feel like you can really see it in my hair. So if I'm not on top of it, that shows too. But yeah, I'm definitely excited to try out some of these new products that Africa's Best sent over. But yeah, you guys, that's pretty much the end of this video. If you have any questions or comments, make sure you guys comment that down below in the comment section. Also, leave me some tips on what I can do about my little spot. Remember, we're not saying the B word. We are not saying bald. We're just saying spot. <laughs> so if you guys have any tips on that, definitely comment that down below. That's the end of this video. I feel like I have talked so much throughout this video. But don't forget to subscribe to my channel, you guys. And I'll see you guys in the next video.